Welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. This is going to be a kind of a different kind of video. I am on a three-day uh, workshop in Virginia on tiny houses and designs and building products. And the first day here, we went to a thermal steel manufacturing plant that actually builds insulated structural panels with a steel frame with a 100% uh, thermal break in it. But they won't allow filming inside the plant, so we were able to take a picture of their little demonstration out there and a whole bunch of still shots of all their projects, and I'll be able to give you their information. And if you want to contact them or me, we'll be meeting with a boy who does designs, and he can put you in touch with them, or he can design your tiny house and buildings for them. And we're going to show you all this kind of stuff and let you see what you think about it. Well, here's the little structure they have in the showroom. And this one here is a four inch wall. You can see the steel suds on it. And it's got an amazing R value of 32. Uh, like I said, it's a complete thermal break that the steel on the inside and the steel on the outside are all held together by a patented chemical formula of this styrofoam bead product. Instead of regular insulation, it's got a fireproof rating and insect resistant and everything else. Let me show you a picture of the uh, windowsills. Looking at it now, it doesn't show up real good on the windowsills, but the inside and outside are the only two with a metal edge. Uh, when you get your drawings, they'll get the shop drawings to you and you have to sign off. Because I'll show you in some other pictures when that metal, when the outlet, uh, the holes cut out for the window, it's wrapped in metal, of course, on the inside and outside. And, and if you made a mistake on the rough opening size, you're kind of in trouble because uh, you do sign off on it and you tell them exactly what it is. So any change orders or anything can get kind of expensive having a whole new panel made. Uh, let me show you a quick picture of how these things go together. This just shows you the makeup of a panel. Uh, steel, of course, on both sides and nothing but foam in the middle. All around the windows is a complete, like I said, thermal break. An engineer, not a salesman, an engineer decides on what gauge metal, what the thickness is, the shape, the design. When you get the plans, it's stamped by an engineer with a PE license. And the county really doesn't have a whole lot to do or say. They can question something, but... When it's been signed off and approved by an engineer, it's ready to be set up, and all of it comes just that way. A 4x8 panel of this foam right here is a total of 58 pounds of weight. A 4x8 panel of OSB SIP panel is 156 pounds. So as you can see, one person, as far as 8 or 10 or 12 foot high panels, you have a couple guys on the job, you're not going to need a crane or a lift. You can do it by hand, probably everything but the roof. But they're very lightweight. You can also do, uh, you can bolt it down to a slab on the floor. They do make the panels for the floor. You can see here, um, it has a concrete band, gets poured all the way around the outer edge. Uh standard thing got rebar and all the holes wire mesh all over it just like a standard poured floor they do have a application where you can put radiant floor heat in it and um, have a built-up floor that shows a picture of the radiant floor heat the wire grid and then the concrete poured on top and they can go 10 or 12 inches thick just on the floor panel alone uh, and it all comes ready to go. All you got to do is put everything in and hook it up. This is just a short mock-up of a wall. It shows the cap that ends up being on the top to lock them all in. There's a cap like that. You anchor to the bottom. But what I want you to see is on the very bottom right there, there's a square hole. And that is the electrical wire chase that goes through every one of the blocks. You end up with a uh, 
heat gun or a soldering iron with a wire on it and you can go around and burn in your boxes for all your receptacles on all your outside walls and as the man said this picture right here is outdated because they're now in over 40 countries and well over 120,000 projects but i want to let this thing roll and let you just see what their capabilities are as far as arches and roofs residentials they said they are presently now doing about 10 tiny houses a month fitting on trailers small houses commercial buildings everything is endless with them they said if you have a design or an idea they have an engineer that can go ahead and make the panels for it just roof sections this is just the roof on a metal building that they're insulating instead of sit panels one of the things with wooden sit panels is they will swell and the moisture bothers them with these panels here uh, there is nothing to swell nothing to move so over time there is nothing to rot their two biggest applications this right here is a, a retirement assisted living home in florida it is uh concrete floors and nothing but these panels so it's strong enough to hold all that up so their two biggest sales areas are Florida and California. Of course, Florida with the hurricanes and California with earthquakes. Um, but they can come up with arch buildings. All you need to do is tell the man the size of what you're going to put in there. And they can accommodate what after you're, whatever you're after. Roofing systems. This is a metal roof. If you're in an area that has wildfires, um, you can put apply a stucco over the outside of this thing. You can put a metal roof on it, and your building is virtually fireproof. They can uh, leave openings so you can wood frame into it if you want. Um, but I'll be here for three days at this thing, and I'm going to have the next video with a man who's designs and he'll give you all the information you can contact him for either design services or get you in touch with the company and give them your plans they're up here at just outside of floyd virginia um i'll get you the address but they didn't have any contact information to give out they said it was all at the printers but they're not all in all over the country they're all over the world it's been around for 40 years, just hasn't been advertised quite well. Well, I'm going to cut out here right now. I meant to mention one thing. They said basically on a four inch thick wall for a house, it is $8 a square foot. So if your wall was 10 foot high and 40 foot long, that'd be 400 square foot times eight is $3,200. Um, you do not take out for the windows you put this stuff up like you buy a carpet you buy the whole piece and you cut out the windows and the, they will help you with exceptions on the doors uh garage doors stuff like that but basically it's the total square footage of the frame but if i can be of any help that's what we do here at carolina homestead planner think about this and put this in your back burner but a very good product Thank you for watching. Like it, share it, tell your friends about it. I appreciate it. Bye.